Good afternoon everyone, Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo with a review of the Nikon Coolpix S9300. Will this glossy slab of sleek sexy goodness light your point and shoot fire? Find out in my full review. The Nikon Coolpix S9300 represents one of the company's top high zoom pocket point-and-shoot cameras that excels in style and a nice 18x optical zoom. First off, let's dive into this thing's design. It's got a nice, sleek, glossy, beautiful, luscious exterior. The camera benefits from a nice 921,000 pixel 3-inch display, which was a nice reprise from last year. And we have a spinning command dial in the back. The camera has a nice ridge in the front for gripping, and it's got a textured rubberized panel on the back for keeping that thumb right in place. The Nikon Coolpix S9300 has a pop-up flash, however, it's semi-automatic. That means when you select the flash, it pops up automatically, but you have to press it back down in order to close it, which is a pain in the butt, especially when you power the camera off and you forget to close it and then it snaps off in your pocket. Another problem I had with the S9300's structural integrity was that it wasn't on par. One minor tumble forced the lens ring of this camera to pop right off, and upon further investigation, I realized that it was held on by adhesive strips, which is a bit cheap, Nikon. Now, one last thing to note about the Nikon Coolpix S9300. This is an exceedingly slow camera. This thing averaged six seconds between the time I powered it on and it was able to take a shot. Six to seven seconds. That's like molasses in the dead of winter time. Furthermore, zooming in video mode was very slow. And at times, the camera suffered a brain freeze when I was shuffling through mode dial options. So overall with design, very sleek and debonair, however lacking in structural integrity and speed. Now the Coolpix 9300 is an interesting character when it comes to shooting features. Much to my chagrin, this camera lacks a manual mode, which means I couldn't adjust the shutter or the aperture. The S9300 excels when it comes to scene modes, high speed shooting options, and auto mode. One of my favorite scene modes was the easy panorama mode where I could just stand press the shutter button and sweep to my left or right and it captured up to a 180 or 360 degree panoramic shot. I was also quite fond of the continuous shooting modes. There was even a 120 frames per second continuous shooting mode on this camera. However, all of the images were captured at a fraction of the resolution of this sensor. The Coolpix S9300 also had some fun shooting effects, including selective color and my favorite high contrast monochrome. But I left a crumb on the table, and that's the Coolpix S9300's GPS feature. If you want the full scoop on Nikon's Coolpix GPS system, refer to my Nikon Coolpix P510 review. But the brunt of it is, it's pretty darn sad. So to summarize, the Coolpix S9300 has a basic set of shooting features, a few fun little tricks here and there that'll be great for beginners. Now it's time for image quality. One important thing to note about this camera is that Nikon standardized across the entire Coolpix range this year 16 megapixels. That means all of their Coolpix cameras have 16 megapixels. The S9300, 16 megapixels. Last year it had 12 megapixels. What does that mean? Smaller pixels on this sensor, less low light gathering. This camera was not as good in low light as I expected it to be. Video in low light made me almost cry it was that bad. Also, the camera's very picky when it comes to taking still photos outside and indoors and in a variety of environments. What happens is if it's too bright, the lens has a tendency to make everything soft and edges blow out with purple fringing. There's a lot of haze going on. This camera's best performances were close-up macro shots. When it came to videos, for the most part, bright light video was probably this camera's best feature. So overall, when I stacked the Coolpix S9300 up against the Canon PowerShot SX2 60HS, the Canon won. So there definitely are better options in this price range. So what's the Buffalo call with the Nikon Coolpix S9300? I have to be honest, I've seen a lot better in this price range, a lot better in this class. This camera is like Mrs. Robinson. On the outside, it's suave, debonair, sophisticated, and sexy. But if you cross its path, it will gobble you whole. 
between my issues with the structural integrity, the slowness of the camera, the mostly ineffective GPS system, and the hit or miss image quality, I was forced to look to greener pastures. For the full Nikon Coolpix S9300 review, go to technobuffalo.com and remember everybody, Go Devils! Da 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 da